What am I doing with this bike? These brakes are terrible. I want my Shimano brakes back. Hey there, all you middle-aged mediocre mountain bikers. It is Mike here, and what am I doing with this bike? Well, I just got back from an amazing family vacation on Salt Spring Island, and while I was gone, a certain somebody named Josh may or may not have broken into my house, stolen my giant trance, and replaced it with a 29er. Why? Because he is so convinced that if I could taste the 29er life, my life would be changed forever. So let me tell you about it. But yes, we're gonna be riding a 29er today. All right, guys, here's the story. If you go back to a video I posted at the beginning of the year, I talked a little bit about bikes and I made mention how pretty much all of my riding crew, and there's about six or seven of us, they're all on 29ers, everybody but me. Now, I am the shortest of the bunch at five foot six, about 130, 135, and I love my bike. You can watch this video here if you wanna hear that story. Secondly, everybody agrees that it's time for me to get a new bike. However, the big question for me was, do I stick with 27.5, go to 29, or mullet? And I kept telling Josh, I'm not buying a brand new bike or even a new used bike 29er till I demo it. His pushback was, if you demo a bike for one day, you're not gonna like it. You gotta ride it for like a month. That argument went back and forth. And finally, Josh said, I'm just gonna have to buy you a bike and make you ride it for a month. To which I jokingly said, deal. If you buy me a 29er, I promise I'll ride it for a month. So here I am on beautiful Salt Spring Island, enjoying some time with my family, only to find out that Josh did in fact purchase this evil offering, size small, 29er, went to my house, grabbed my trance, took the grips, the pedals, and the dropper, put them on the evil, stole my bike and hid it somewhere, and left me this one in the garage. So I guess it's time for me to keep up my end of the bargain and ride it. All right, guys, here's gonna be my trick for today is I am not reviewing this evil offering bike to see if I want it or not. Chances are this is not my next bike. What I am doing is trying to get a feel for 29 versus 27.5. So I'm trying to ignore a bunch of little things that I would change if this was my next bike, starting with the brakes. I have Shimano XTs on my trance. I've been riding them for four years. These are SRAM Guide RE. I do not like them at all. But again, that's not the purpose of demoing this bike. First little 29er tester. Well, I did a terrible job there and carried absolutely zero speed and it did just fine. Here is the infamous wall. See how this thing climbs. Steepest part of Galbraith for climbing. All right, guys. Dropping into Scorpion Goss Autobahn. Woo. Wow. These are the same trails that I raced not too long ago. If you haven't watched that video yet, click on this link right here. I want my Shimano brakes back. 
These brakes are terrible. So far, so good. Dropping into a trail called Mullet. I'm like, what the heck? Let's see how fast we can do this trail. Trying to hit this double here. All right, guys, this is my last trail for today, SST. It actually feels very poppy. All right, a little steep tech here. Let's see if I get any. Huh? Didn't buzz my butt at all. I kind of feel faster, but also more in control. 48 hours later. Well, guys, it's day two. I am with the man himself, Josh Daly, mountain bike rider. I don't know whether to hug him or slap him. I'm not sorry. I told you so. Welcome to the rest of your life. Uh, it's my second ride on the Evil Offering 29er. Give us the top three reasons why 29ers kick butt over 27.5. I just think for 95% of the riding that I do, and I would argue for 99% of people, the advantages of 29ers giving you more speed, um, and I feel more confidence through like rough sections, is the reason every bike company almost doesn't make 27.5 anymore. And if they do, it's mixed wheel because everybody knows having a 29 inch front tire wheel is helps you roll over things and carry speed out of corners. So guys, we're gonna hit this trail dad bod. This is a trail I just posted a PR run on, ironically enough. We got like three quarters of an inch of rain last night. Not going for a PR today, but you never know. When'd you PR it? Like a week ago. Oh, she's muddy. Yeah, this this ain't gonna be a PR day. Yeah, me too. I didn't realize it rained this much. You're riding way more confidently. Like, it's night and day difference. More dad. All right, couple little poppers coming up. That right there is some of my favorite trail on Galbraith. Yeah, that section is so good. Camera doesn't show how gnarly that part of the trail is. Lots of holes, lots of roots, lots of chunk, and very wet today. Whoops. Let's 
because when I squeeze my brakes, they don't work. I want my Shimano brakes back. These brakes are terrible. <laughs> It's only first week of September. Okay, pay attention here. Very steep, gnarly section, especially when it's wet. But this bike is eating it up. You've come a long way as a biker. Oh, thanks. This bike feels really supple now. Supple. Really? Yeah, no, not really. I just like saying that word though. <laughs> supple. Well guys, as you can see, I finished dad bod. Dad bod felt so good on this bike. And we're gonna pause right here. We're gonna have a part two of this little two-part video series coming out in just two or three days. Be looking for that where I'm gonna finish that ride with Josh. I'm going to push some speed limits on this thing, even send a jump or two that I don't normally send. So be looking forward to that. At the end of the day two video, I will give all of my thoughts. And really though, I'll, I'll boil it down this way. There's two really significant things that are different. Obviously the first is going from 27.5 front and rear to 29 front and rear. But the second thing is this evil offering compared to my trance is a significant difference in geometry. Much slacker head tube angle, a position of the seat post, like everything. The Geo is so much different and much more modern. So those two things combined, well, you're gonna have to stay tuned to part two to see how I really feel about it. But let's just say I'm having a blast riding something new. So until then, you know what I say though, it doesn't matter if you're riding 26, 27.5, 29, bullet, 26. 24, whatever you're riding, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you get up on those trails and have some fun. See you in part two, coming soon.